Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how to use a Chrome extension called Talk and Comment. It is a very easy to use Chrome extension that allows you to create voice notes that you can add into documents and more importantly into your Google Classroom to provide information for your students so that they can hear those instructions clearly and replay them if necessary. So let's take a look. This is Talk and Comment. You're going to want to first install the Talk and Comment extension. So it's available in the Chrome store. So you're going to click on that and it's going to take you here and you're going to want to install it. I've already installed it. So you click on that install button and you're going to see that it's installed when it's up here. You can turn it on and off if you need to at the top by clicking on this icon, but I'm going to turn it back on. And what is the purpose of this? It allows you to record a web-based voice note that you can paste the link into a document and more importantly into Google Classroom. I have this assignment on Human Rights Day and I want to provide a voice note to support my students that might have difficulty with reading the instructions and for clarity and maybe they're language learners or your SPED students. This is a great opportunity to support them. So what I want to do is record a voice note. So we've installed that Chrome extension. It's going to live over here. Notice here's that microphone icon. When I click it, it's going to automatically start recording whatever I want to say. So I want to record instructions like this. Students, after viewing the video on the History of Human Rights Day, complete the SOS activity, A-E-I-O-U. So I've recorded my voice note, and when I'm done, I'm going to click this check to say I'm done. And now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to add this to my Google Classroom assignment. So I'm going to go here, and it is now a link. I'm going to paste it in. It's going to do its little magic here. It takes a minute. What did you notice? It actually puts a play button. So even your younger students, your emerging learners are going to see this play button and know that there is voice instructions. So now if I hit play, students, students after, after viewing, viewing the video, video on the history of human rights state. state. So there we go. I have a voice note attached to my assignment. And as a student, I can go in there and play it if I need to multiple times. So now when I click assign, it's going to go live that icon will be there and it's that visual cue to play. So the first time you use this with students, you're gonna wanna say, hey, look for that play button. That's some voice instructions and that might help you out. So there you go. That's how you can use talk and comment to provide more clear instructions and provide additional support for your diverse learners. Hopefully you found this tip beneficial. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Thank you.